Last year, I was very productive and built six different kinds of boats. They are either modular or foldable. The 14 and a half feet canoe is at 30 pounds. It is still heavier than what I would like to see. Therefore, I came up with another version, which is only 10 feet long for two people and weights at around 19 pounds. My Gen 17, which is a pontoon boat, works well for crabbing. This is also the only boat I feel comfortable to use at the Pacific coast. This year, I modified that concept and built a foldable pontoon boat with foam. It weighs at 23 pounds, and tomorrow I will be carrying it this way and launching it on the beach at Tillamook Bay for crabbing. This is a large crab. It's about 7 inches. Therefore, I don't even need to measure it. Now, I'm working on my second boat for this year, and it is a modular boat. It has been taking me a lot more time to design than I have planned it. This video is the update of my progress. I need more flotation at the front section of the boat. Therefore, I decided to make a new bow section instead of reusing the one for my old kayak. I was thinking of using two foam blocks, as shown here, but the height of the foam block at the front create a very uncomfortable sitting arrangement. Therefore, I replaced the foam block with a rectangular partition, which will create a more comfortable seat for paddling. I have experimented different methods to latch two modules together. And finally, I decided to bend the PVC pipe to create that latch. I also used the gunnel to provide extra support. I will share more details if it works in my actual testing of the boat. So far, it seemed to me it will work. I do have a plan B if this latch fails. Each module is about 5 feet long. I'm glad it can still fit inside my car. I hope to finish building this boat this week. If you find this video interesting, please give me a like or give me some feedback. I appreciate your support for subscribing to my channel also. Bye-bye.